Hey everyone, so today I have created this look for you using the few of my favorite things palette by Too Faced. Absolutely love this palette and basically I created a heavy kind of clubbing look and this is actually a collaboration with Jamaican makeup artist. She is absolutely stunning and just has mad skills so make sure you check out her video. The link will be down below. Both of our looks are quite dramatic and, you know, lots of eyeliner and all that kind of thing. So if you want to see how I went from this on the left to that on the right, then just stay tuned. So I kind of couldn't find my headband at first, so I'm using my rebands <laughs> to use as a headband to keep my hair out of my face. And then I'm just going to prime. I'm using my... This is Bare Minerals Prime Time, I think, maybe. I'll list it down below. And then I'm taking one of my favorite foundations at the moment, Smashbox, and I am going to apply this all over my face using a beauty blender, and this is just going to give me flawless, perfect looking skin. The sun hits like a bullet of faith, and then suddenly I'm wide awake. Look what I found on the ground. Oh, I'm a poet and I know it. Yeah. Um, anyway, I am using a stealer powder all over my skin just to set my foundation. I think this is a necessity when you are going clubbing because it will help your makeup last all night long. Even though I didn't use any concealer under my eyes, I am going to use my e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder just to prevent my foundation that is under my eyes from creasing. It totally doesn't even look like I'm spraying my face with anything right now, but yeah, there is stuff coming up, promise. <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. It lasts forever and it doesn't budge and it's waterproof, sweatproof everything perfect for clubbing and then I'm also going to set it down with some brow gel just to keep my hairs in place and then I am going to moisturize my lips for my um, lipsticks later on just to prep my lips. After laying down a base on my eyelids, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and put a medium brown into my crease. Now I'm taking this super metallic colour and I'm going to apply this all underneath my lash line and on my lid, but not all over my lid, just kind of like halfway to two thirds of the way across. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to take a super metallic kind of green, light green shade and that's going to go on the remainder of the eyelids. I'm just blending out those colors a little bit and I'm just using a dark brown for this just to add some more dimension. Now I'm going to take this pointy tapered blender brush, it's the perfect shape to get into the outer V. So I'm taking a super glittery black and I'm putting that right there on the outer V and then I'm also going to run it under the middle of my lower lash line. So kind of right underneath where the color of your eye is. I'm not putting it on the very inner or the very outer, just in that middle bit. Going in with that metallic light green again, I'm just going to put that on top of the black in the middle of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a gold and that is going to go on my inner corner and that's also going to go around where we put the black on the lower lash line. So the very beginning and the very end of my lower lashes.
This is the eyeliner look I'm going for, something super dramatic and winged out and I'm also going to use a Kajal kind of deep black eyeliner on my waterline and my tight line just to make it super black and super smoky. You can tone this down for sure if you don't like like this huge eyeliner dramatic eyeliner look but this is just what I wanted to do because it's a clubbing look and I feel like you can get away with it. After piling on my mascara, I'm using these Girls Aloud eyelashes, the Nicola ones, and I'm just going to pop these on and they just give a kind of cat eye effect. And here is what the eye makeup is looking like. I just love the different tones and the shimmer. I just think it's so pretty. So after that, I'm going to move on to my face. This is my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just going to contour and bronze up my skin. I'm using Luminoso by Milani on my cheeks. I've been actually using this quite a lot lately. I really, really like the look it gives. And so I don't have to highlight because that blush is kind of shimmery. I'm gonna skip straight to my lipstick and I'm starting off with a really bold lipstick because some people love wearing bold with bold. And I was dying to try on this lipstick. It's by Smashbox and it's super vibrant and deep. I love it so much. So that is what that one looks like. But for me, I would normally go with a nude with a dramatic eye, so I'm going to try on a nude as well just to show you what that looks like too. I hope you guys really liked this tutorial. I love dramatic eye makeup. I just think it's so fun every now and then. I don't think I'd wear this during the daytime, but for clubbing or for a party, I think it's perfect. And I hope you did like it as well. If you did, please thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So much. This is a big synthetic brush, so you can use this for like anything. Like you could use it for your face powder or something, but I love it for bronzer. It just sweeps it over my face flawlessly. Watch any single one of my makeup tutorials, and I'm probably using this for my bronzer. Um, it's just so easy to blend out, and it just it's just flawless. Just easy.